The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? It's coming up next, live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina, and they take on Spain. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the main striker today is Morata. And so the battle commences. Messi. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 19... Martinez! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Messi, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Sergio Busquets. Pedri. Paredes. The ball with Martinez. Marcos Acuna. On to Di Maria. Rodrigo de Paul. Terrific block. Marcos Acuna. And he read it well defensively. Well, she wanted to let the play flow, but in the end decided that that wasn't possible.
Sergio Busquets. Danny Olmo with it. Cut out by Otamendi. De Paul. Well, they've given him too much space, but really sticking to their task defensively. Danny Olmo. Morata. Here's Busquets. Is it there for Morata? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Lo Celso. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Can he put them ahead? Spain recovering possession well. Jordi Alba. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Pedri. Now Busquets. Patient build-up at the moment. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Plenty of support here. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Happy to take on the shot. Simple catch, really. Pedri. On the ball, Morata. Jordi Alba. High quality defending. Martinez. <laughs> Messi. He has time to play it over. The danger not over. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas get crosses into the box and then get their front players attacking the ball well read to ease the pressure Marcos Acuna Koke Pedri still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead could be missing the target by a tiny margin well it's a difficult skill to get right but he almost pulled it off there he made such good contact with the ball and a blunder by the keeper and diving to thwart him Corner kick from Koke. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Koke. 
poor pass under no real pressure. Now well, that'll be a free kick. to get to the ball and he did Paredes if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on splendid defending and it needed to be a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Now looking dangerous here. of finishing well as you can see the first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball the keeper's a bit unlucky really So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Carvajal. Now Busquets. Pedri. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Not messing around with that clearance. Koke. Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And short it is. Busquets. And a very good challenge. Marcos Acuna. And continues his run. Dybala. Chances on. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So, back underway. 3-1 the score. Morata. Now Busquets. And let's see if something comes of this. He's foiled them on his own. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. 
Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. The referee has given a corner. Well, they've decided to make a change. And how about the short corner? He takes aim, and the keeper more than equal to the task. It's one corner after another. And a short corner, let's see. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. It's been aimed towards the front first. It might still be problematic. Martinez, can he finish this? And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Danny Olmo. Koke with it. Sergio Busquets. Moreno. And into the last 20 minutes. Giovanni Lo Celso. Marcos Acuna. And back for Dybala. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Gerard Moreno Danny Olmo with it Koke here's Busquets gives it a go well the shot had just a bit too much elevation A mischievous effort. Well, after that mishap, the keeper can now exhale. Well, the hand goes up apologetically. That was a real lapse in concentration there. And he read it superbly. Gerard Moreno. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Not really typical of Dybala to give it away like that. Sergio Busquets. And here's Gerard Moreno. 
Busquets. Delivered into the box. And I think the threat has been averted. Can they hit on the break? And it comes down to the final five minutes. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Danny Olmo. And showing fine vision. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Dybala. And he has options available. It's a perfect challenge. Ferran Torres. Carvajal. Moreno. Firing it towards goal. Oh, my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986, they've done it again.